thought I would talk to you a little bit about the admissions process of graduate entry medicine. Now, at first, looking at the admissions process, it can seem like quite an unclear, uh, intimidating process, but actually it's all right. Um, I've been through it, so many people have been through it. I'm gonna take you through step by step. I'm gonna break it down so that you know exactly what you need to do by when and hopefully make it a bit clearer for all of you. So for those of you that don't know or haven't uh, seen any of my videos yet, uh, I'm a final year medical student here at Swansea on the graduate entry medicine degree. I went through the admissions process four years ago, three and a half years ago, um, but it's largely the same. So stay tuned to find out how you get in and what it's all about. The first part of the admissions process is to either have completed a degree already or to be in the uh, penultimate or final year of a degree. So the first step is to sit the GAMSA exam. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware of the GAMSA or haven't heard about it, um, it's one of the sort of three or four main entry exams and it's the one Swansea uses and the one a fair few unis use. The GAMSA can be sat in March or September, so let's say we're applying this year. You would have sat either the March GAMSA just now uh, or the September exam coming. As far as I'm aware, or at least when I was applying, GAMSET results are valid for up to two application cycles, so you can either use your score from last year if you've already done it, or sit the GAMSET the year of your medicine application. So you've sat the GAMSET, what's next? So next you'll be applying to your medical school through UCAS. This generally happens in October, that's when you need to have submitted your application and personal statement file. GAMSET results generally come out um, in autumn, so you would have done your UCAS application and if you sat the September GAMSA, you'd get your uh, GAMSA result a month or two after the UCAS deadline. In the autumn, the universities will release a minimum GAMSA score uh, for you to be considered to be invited to interview. So at this point in the year, you won't know if you're going to have an interview yet, but you can have a fairly good idea uh, if you have met the minimum GAMSA card off. Interview offers are generally given out in uh, early, the early part of the year, uh, so you know January through till March, and I believe they can keep going out uh, if people drop out of interview days. The interviews themselves, depending on the university, vary from Swansea, for example. I think we started in February and we went through till the end of March, roughly. But other universities do interview as late as sort of April. Uh, so it can span quite a number of months and you might be interviewing across a number of months. As soon as the university's interview period is complete, um, and they can start sending out offers. So for Swansea, I believe offers were made in early April, just after the interviewing period finished. Not everyone will be accepting the offer. Um, people might have multiple offers, so from that point forwards, you might expect to possibly be put on the waitlist. And if you're put on the waitlist, you might be waiting a long time or you could be lucky and get a call or an email early on to say that you've actually been offered a place. I've heard of some people being on waitlists and even getting offers only a few weeks before the course starts so don't lose hope if you are on waitlist because you may still get an offer. I hope that's made the application process a bit clearer. Uh, it took me a bit of researching to find this out for myself when I was applying, so I hope that this is helpful for those of you applying and gives you a bit of a clearer sort of timeline of what's to come. Good luck if you're applying and maybe see you at Swansea.